The next solar eclipse is less than a month away. To find out how it all works, I spoke with Chris Spivey, the engineer at the Ward Beecher Planetarium. The sun is the largest thing in the solar system, obviously. The moon is one-fifth the size of the Earth. On that scale, the sun is 400 times larger than our moon. So here's the size of the sun, and he's pointed to us. Hold on. Here's us and our moon. But even on that scale, with the three planets, something crazy is going to happen. For a few hours, the exact timing and alignment will be just right, so the moon will block out the sun. It's actually so rare that this type of event hasn't happened coast to coast in 109 years. So what will you see on Monday? Starting after 1 o'clock, you will begin to see the sky darken. Then at 2.30, the sunlight will be blocked by 80%. After that, the sky will begin to brighten and it will be back to normal by 4 o'clock. The whole eclipse will last just under three hours, but if you aren't prepared with the right eye protection, don't try to look up at the sun at all. You can literally burn out the cells at the back of your eye on what's called the retina. Even at 20%, that's still an intense bright. So get the proper eye protection today. Also, if you want to see the total eclipse but can't make it south, all you have to do is wait seven more years. Our big one comes on April 8, 2024, when there will be another total solar eclipse, but that totality is going to pass right over Newton Falls. So that's the one we're gearing up for. <laughs>